tell us in the comments. Don't forget to hit the like button and share this video with everyone you know. Time that the media actually has had made an impact on your life because of the portrayals of Bosnia. So the thing that popped in my head the first time when I when I heard you ask that was when I did roles for commercials. And I always like I always wonder why is it always like a negative thing if a person is plus size? Like I always wanted roles that were Serious. the same as other women. Like why does it have to be the certain mataka or like problematic or has to do a lot or something or like comedic? Like I'm all for comedy. I love it laugh but I just noticed that there was like a pattern na if it's always a plus size role it was something that katatawa na oh. it's something funny in the eyes it's not like it was like oh she's plus size but she's beautiful like it, it was never like that I think that only happened one time when I worked in East Bulaga and they were like oh we wanted you to be kind of role mo model for women like, even if you're plus size you're so pretty you're so cute so that was a good beginning job but with majority of my experience in acting and well modeling obviously not but in acting it was always like that it was always my pakal it's always ganyan like so that's one thing that i wanted to break but i think i think so this has a long way to go because yeah. even skinny people they say they're fat even with skinny people who we think are like oh my god they're so perfect but behind the scenes you know that they're saying you're not getting lost because you got fat you're not getting lost because you're this type or you have to be a certain look or a bombshell or whatever yeah. so it's not even just being fat eh? like i feel like the whole body image is so messed up in media mm -hmm. it's I mean, they're trying. They're trying so hard to break out of it, but they still have a very, very long way to go. Um, even here, even even here, even in the it, it, everywhere, actually, right now, you know, they're trying to do inclusivity and size inclusivity, race and everything, but all they're doing is getting the lightest, getting the medium, getting the darkest, getting the skinniest, getting the normal, getting the plumpest. So there's still no one in between. So it's still not a very good portrayal of normal body normal bodies meaning a different body type for everyone but what i think um what i think like for me some media is um i come from a family that was heavily involved in show business and there was one day i remember there was one day i was told you know what you talk so well you're so beautiful you're so tall you project so well you can be a host. You can host your own show. You can host your own, you know, segment. You can even go acting. I mean, you know, you can portray strong roles. Just lose weight. Mm -hmm. and I'm like, it's always a bud. My weight has no connection to my talent. My weight is not a hindrance of my talent. Yeah. Body love is an everyday choice. Yeah. You don't wake up. You don't wake up one day, decide that you're a body positive advocate. Yeah. You love your body, and then the next day it'll be okay. No, it's every day. Sometimes there are days when I wake up. Oh my gosh, there's a new pimple. You know, but I won't let it affect me. <laughs> a pimple. You know. Yeah. Oh, yeah. you know this corona, this corona, this this coronavirus and this pandemic. I gained a few pounds. Now I'm trying to cut back and start getting healthy again. Why not? Because I don't like the way I look, but because I don't feel healthy anymore. Mm. So it has to come from a place of love because the moment it comes yeah. from a place of hate, you will self-destruct. I love how you guys, like, you know, you've proven that the road to self-love and loving your body, you know, it's not a straight path. Uh, there, is, there are ups and downs, but I think in the end, oh, I Less know. Than, right? There's, how, there's so many different directions. No, it's how you can bounce back by yeah. first own strength and confidence within yourself and as long as you feel beautiful you don't need to hear it from anyone else like let's talk about now your personal self-care routine because you guys i'm not just, i'm not just asking models i'm also asking makeup artists beauty content creator a mom an entrepreneur so i want to know how you guys um take care of yourself like for me i mean happy wife happy life so exactly happy mom happy family uh, <laughs> 
Um, and of course, uh, Elon and Tahanan were the one that usually run the household, so I have to take care of myself as well. Um, one of the things that I do, even though it doesn't look like it, I actually pray and read the Bible. When, like in the morning, that's what I do. I, I write in a journal. Um, I started um, self affirmation, like you know, it, I'll start my morning. Let's say if it's not working out, I take a shower. You know, candles. I love candles. Just setting up my own mood. Like I said, it doesn't creating my own spa or just, just my own zen. Everybody has their different ways, and that's my way. Um, you know, listening to the music and like, hey, you know, in that feel good mood. And um, yeah, and if I feel something that doesn't make me feel right, let's say I go to the chiropractor. I have the luxury of getting a massage because they get tested weekly, um, and we all wear masks while we're doing it. So, you know, you just gotta do what you gotta do. Now, there's also yeah. no therapy mentally. Like you can download online or listen to. It, it's not like it's gonna tell you go rub a bang because yeah. <laughs> you know, like, it's not like that. You have to find the the voice that is soothing, for you. Um, and it will help you calm down. Like everything I mean I've been on the edge and anxiety obviously trying to make sure that we have enough supplies for the house with the pandemic are we okay you know there's a lot of things that's going on but don't be kind to yourself yeah. you have to be forgiving you're yeah. it's not gonna be perfect every day you're not your day the day that you planned ahead will not always go the way you expected it yeah. but be kind to you one word complete the sentence I am blank Verona I am Beautiful. Yes. Kat. I am fearless. Yes. Tina. Before we officially end, maybe there are some final words you guys want to say to our viewers right now. That I really hope that you guys um, learned a lot. And if there are any questions or anything that you need, you know, you need guidance or help or just, you know, clarifications on, please feel free to reach out. Um... We're always just a message away. Uh, the the thing that I want, you know, people to take away, number one from this from this talk is that I want you to know that regardless of how you feel, how you look, how other people make you feel, how you think you look in other people's eyes, God loves you. Yeah, and you are not alone. You are not alone. So I think that's the most important thing to remember in your life that someone as perfect as Jesus, as perfect as God, loves you for who you are with all your so called flaws, with all the things you think is wrong with your body. And he accepts you a hundred percent of your entire self, flaw and all. And and don't let anyone fool you into believing that you are not worthy that you are not mm-hmm. loved and that you are not valued and that mm-hmm. anything and everything you decide to do in your life make sure you do it because of the love you feel for yourself and the love you have for other people yes thank you yes. with your own um any final words no, it, it's basically the same thing as what Kat is sharing. Like, yeah. you know, that you are loved no matter what the world tells you. Yes. You are worthy. You know, love, mm-hmm. God loves you. You are loved, you're prayed for, and you're cared for. Yes. All yes. right? You are more than, more than the looks. You're very talented. Mm-hmm. God has blessed us with so many blessings. Mm-hmm. Share it by loving yourself. Mm-hmm. And you're poor. You know, so you'll be able to love and accept others as well. I mean, that's what that's what I always believe in. So let that love and light pour out. Don't hold yourself back. Yeah, mm-hmm. especially when you have so much love to get. Share. Yes. Mm-hmm. Thank you, Rona. How about you, Tina? Any final words? Um, for me, no, especially for the younger girls, because I'm, you know, I'm more. I know. <laughs> 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 no, no, because I just got out of that. You know what I mean? Like I, I'm recently, I've, I've recently just grown from that. But for me, I really think that um, not just men, not, not just women, not just men, everybody does like that. Just try not to find your validation from somewhere else. Yes. It just really has to begin from yourself, and because you, no one else will love you the way you can love yourself. So 
you don't need anybody else and you don't need your status you don't need a subscriber count you don't need a, a man a boyfriend girlfriend or sometimes even your family it just you just have to really start by yourself talaga. and even if it's slow movement or growth it's still growth it's still yeah. a step towards your end goal it's still yeah. a step towards self love Thank you so much again, Tina, Kat, and Rona. You know, I really enjoyed, and our audience really enjoyed today's Rock That Poly episode. I hope you also enjoyed your time here on V81 Radio, and I hope our viewers did too. So keep empowering and spreading that positivity, that mindset that you um you've had and you've always been. So you are all such true game changers for the beauty scene, and we thank you so much. For- Stay tuned for the next episode. Only here on Z81 Radio, Manila.